Good morning, everybody. Do you remember at primary school in UK? Good morning, Mrs. Osborne. Good morning, everybody. I had teacher was called Mrs. Osborne in primary school. I am getting ready for the day. The vibes are really feeling positive today because the sun is absolutely glorious. So in the last vlog, which I actually finished yesterday, I showed you that weird brown rain that we were having. It turns out it was from the Sahara. It was actually a sandstorm from the Sahara, um, which is pretty wild. Also, I have to be really careful with my hair right now because um, I have to be intentional with when I wash it because I have a wedding in like a few weeks. So I need to time my hair washing right with the wedding. So um, I, I want it to be like, I don't like it on first day because if I, I wash my hair on the first day, it goes really fluffy. Second day is like prime time. So um, I need to try and work out. I need to actually do a coordinated thorough research into that because I don't know when the best option is. Also, <laughs> I got this. You won't believe where. I got it in that hot pot place that I went to with my friend. How fun is that? Isn't that crazy? They just had them in the bathroom, like in little packets. And then I actually needed to comb my hair, so um, I took one. They also had toothbrushes and toothpaste. I kind of wish I took one, but I didn't. Anyway, we're already on a tangent. What am I like? What am I like? Each. Oh, my, time, my alarm is going off. That's so annoying, you know, when you're in the middle of something and you forgot to turn your alarm off. Because I never wake up when my alarm is. What about a weird red line on my thumb? I never wake up when my alarm is. I always wake up like hours before. Because for some reason, my body doesn't know how to sleep in. Even when I have the choice to sleep in, it just doesn't know how to do it. Anyway, I'm ready. Give it a Actually, I am not ready. I'm ready once I put my perfume on. I'm really Tiffany & Co love that. But it has to be Tiffany & Co love, not just Tiffany & Co, okay? Shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, please. Thank you. Too vicious on my ears. Now what I do these days is I actually boil the kettle before I have a shower, because then it means by the time I get out of the shower is the perfect drinking temp, and I don't have to add any cold water to it. So, hello. Literally perfect. Um, and I think I'm gonna have, we have cinnamon and raisin bagels, but I'm not in a sweet mood. I'm kind of in like a Marmite on toast mood. Should we have some Marmite on toast? Ah, we only have one piece of bread. That is a problem. Okay, I think it's gonna be a cinnamon and raisin bagel, guys. Because sometimes they say sliced, but really and truly, they don't. Like, that's not sliced. Can you see that? It's not been sliced the whole way through it to force it with my hands. Guys, it feels so good to be back up and vlogging. I really love it. Oh, sorry, camera. <laughs> um, I really just love chatting to you guys. I do, it makes me happy. Also, I got these new sunglasses the other day because I sat on my favorite cat eye sunglasses and they broke. Um, but they're from a brand called By Bloom and they're really cool because they donate a pair of glasses to someone who needs glasses. So for everyone you buy, they donate a pair. Um, and they have some other really cool bits about them. So really rate them. Um, and I'm actually gonna have to get my directions up because I have the worst sense of direction ever. I've been to this MS loads, but I just can't fully remember how to get there. I wish I had a good sense of direction, but I just don't. Just have one of those fantastic moments where it's a pull through, you know, when there's a, there's a space behind you so you can just pull through, you don't have to worry about parking. Fantastic. I mean, hello travelators, what a joy. We only get one hour free on parking, so I'm refusing to get distracted by H&M and all the other shops en route. I'm going to m and Let me tell you, watching this, why are you sleeping? <laughs> um, I had a good time in m &S. it was good to be back. I was apprehensive, there wasn't super loads of new things. Um, what's going on m &S? can we have a little rethink please? 
Um, but it was weird because I got into the car park and it smells of chlorine and it just made me want to go swimming so bad. I haven't been swimming since before COVID, like a long, long time. And I love swimming. I love splashing out in the water. I do like to go with people because I like to play games. I do. I won't even lie. I love doing that whirlpool thing where you all run around in one direction and then you get the current going and then it means if you sit back, you will just go in that direction. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, now I'm really craving going swimming. I am back. I just feel so happy today. Um, I think it's the sun shining. I think it's just, it feels like a good day in the air. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like the vibes are good. It really, they are. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. I love dancing. I have a wedding. Did I already mention that? I have a wedding coming up and um, I'm really excited because I haven't been able to dance in so long. I can't dance, bear in mind, also to save my life. But I just love ripping up the dance floor with my awful moves. Like, I just love letting my hair down. I often get people being like, are you, have you had too much to drink? Are you okay? And I'm like, nope, I haven't had a single drop of alcohol. I just love to absolutely annihilate the dance floor. Is that all right? It's a murder on the dance floor with me. That's what it is. If you don't have TikTok, um, these are some of the highlights. I can't wait to try this. Giant speckled egg bar. I saw Zoella trying this and I was like, I have to give it a go. It's got little speckles of mini egg in it. Mm -mm -mm. Also, I've never tried these before, but these you put in the freezer. These are my favorite and they're really good. I'm really good with salted butter because like the sweet and salty. Um, what else have we got that's quite fun? Hey, Easter egg cookies. There's just quite a lot here really. Um, I did not do things by halves. I told you, I love an Easter themed moment. Hi, just got back from my walk. Very, very nice. And I came back to a parcel. This potentially could be um, my shoe for the wedding. I don't know if they'll go with the dress that you have actually. Kind of gorge. I just like these because then I don't have to get a pedicure because um, the toes aren't out. What do you think? Is that the shoe for me? Is it? I don't know. I'm going to take them back because my toes have been in here for like, what, one minute and they're so tight and ouchy. Like, it's a shame because they're actually really nice. I am going to make some dinner now and we're back on, this isn't sponsored, I, I was just leaning on my face by the way, hence the red patch. Um, I, oh I don't need to make it yet because it only takes 10 minutes for me at 6. And this only takes 10 minutes. Um, we're back on the Gusto hype. Uh, this isn't sponsored, wish it was. Literally, our family love Gusto so much. Um, if you ever have the chance to do a Gusto box, I don't know, I think they might only do it in England. I'm not entirely sure. But we literally love Gusto. Um, all the meals are so good. And today is this one, blackened bassa tacos with pineapple salsa. Good morning. I don't want to hear it. I am in the same outfit as yesterday. It happens. Like, come on. Last night I went babysitting, so that's why the vlog kind of stopped there. But it's a new dawn, it's a new day. The sun is shining again. The tank is clean. Um, and I'm gonna have some Easter bunny crumpets. That's right. I think it would only be right on a day like today. I'm just really excited for Easter. I am. No, I am. Um, let's get these Easter bunny crumpets in. It's actually very interesting. It tells you on the back how long to taste your crumpets for. So I'm putting my crumpets in and they're gonna get nice and toasty. My mission today, um, as we did yesterday, is to drink more water because I just have not been drinking enough water. I'm just, should I get my big old bottle out? Do you remember the big one that I had? Hang on. I think it's time to get her out again. I'm gonna give it a deep clean because uh, I don't know how long she's been working in the back there, but I think it's it's time um, because I just need to get back on my drinking right? I got this on Amazon and it's one of those ones that like is enough for a whole day like that. So I can just drink it throughout the day. I'm back on it. I'm going to be so hydrated. That's the aim. March is the month of me being hydrated. Um, and I don't care what anyone else says, it's gonna happen. Little bit terrifying, but whatever. Guys, I have done my volunteering work. I'm working through my to-do list. I'm very happy. I've got a video that is uploading right now. Right, next on my list, I am gonna do some 
sorting of washing in my room. Now, selfishly, actually, of me, I am going to time lapse this because that way I get it done because I have to hold myself accountable to it. So I'm gonna put some music on and I'm gonna do my room, right? So let's do this, Grace. Come on, put yourself together. I've sorted all my washing out and I moved quick because obviously yesterday I got those shoes that I didn't love um, and the wedding was not far away so I need to find a new pair. So I went on ASOS, tapped away, next day delivery um, and I've ordered a pair which I feel, I feel like they're going to be the one. I feel like these might be the ones but are they comfy? No they're not but really and truly it's just one day of pain isn't it? Oh my gosh, weddings are so fun. I love weddings. I cannot wait. I love a wedding. I haven't been to a wedding in, actually that's a lie. I've literally been to so many weddings. I was about to say, I haven't been to a wedding in years. I literally went to three last year. Um, oh, these are high. Oh my goodness me, they're high. I feel like I could break my ankle. This is a, uh, this is the shoe. It's actually quite nice. But look how high that is. My foot is on an incline, a very steep one. I don't think you can tell how high these shoes are on camera, but they are um, they are really nice, but I just think they're not, I don't know, do I sacrifice the pain for a day? Do, 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 do. Well, that's actually fine because you just do a toe tap, don't you? Are we ready? Banksy, lick me if you think I should keep these shoes. She doesn't think I should keep them. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Sometimes I use that as my genuine source of information. These are my backup. These are the ones that I, I'm thinking I might have to wear if I can't find a pair. Um, but I just don't want my toes out. I just don't. It's too cold for that. Um, but this is, these are the comfiest heels I have. They're just from Primark a few years back. Um, but they're so comfy and I always wear them to weddings. My video is finally uploading and I am going to take back those shoes to the return place. I've had lunch. The day is just all hurrying by. I mean, sorry, you're too cute. You actually are. She literally loves a tummy tickle, don't you? It's your favorite, but actually no, chin is her favorite. She literally loves a chin tickle. You wanna like me? Yeah, okay, I thought so. Um. Can we just take in this day? How glorious is it? I am gonna go to the farm shop, which I mentioned yesterday. Um, it's just a really nice little farm shop and they have some really cool bits in it. And it's my brother's birthday this weekend. So I'm just gonna see if there's anything, anything fun to add to his present. I just had the most fun doing those lockers. I've never used them before. They're just like returns lockers and you just scan your code. Obviously you don't have to queue or anything. Um, which is great because the amount of time I spend queuing in the post office is a joke. Um, and you just scan your phone and the, one of the lockers pings open and then you just put your return in it. You don't have to do anything. Honestly, who would have thought that that would be the case in 2022? Although I do think in 2022, right, if we can make lockers that ping open and take your returns, then why are we still struggling with Wi-Fi? Like, why is Wi-Fi an issue? Because I feel like my phone and Wi-Fi lately have not been friends. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, let's go to this farm shop. I don't know what happened on that car journey because it took me on the right scenic, scenic route. That car is covered in grass. It's actually a car covered in grass. It's a grassy car. Also, I really need to sneeze. I can feel a sneeze brewing. So, we are here at the garden centre. I'm about to moisturise because as much as this is the month of me um, being hydrated, is also the year of me being, my skin being hydrated. So I've got to make sure I moisturize and I'm all supple, ready to, um, ready to hit up the farm shop. This farm shop is great because it's one of those ones, it's like a garden center, you know where they have um, candles, they have literally anything your heart desires, they've got it. What's that noise? Oh. Battery discharge warning. Well, don't discharge. That would be really bad. Okay, guys. I'm ready. It's sunny. I'm warm. It's feeling like spring has sprung. You know how 
car yesterday, I said I had the worst sense of direction ever. I've lost my car in the car park and I cannot, I cannot figure out for love nor money where I've parked it. And I'm walking with my um, lovely luxury biscuit assortment. Um, because last time dad absolutely loved this. I've got a whole haul of bits. Disappointingly, there was no pickle. There was no pickles this time. Um, where the heck is my car? What do you actually do in this instance when you literally can't find your car anywhere? I feel like such a fool. I feel like the security guards must be watching me. Oh, I see it. I see my car. I need to start doing something about that because I've lost it a lot of times lately. Okay, my little patatas bravas. Are you ready for a haul? The problem is I see things for my family. I think they'll like that and then I just have to buy it. Because then I think, what if they're being crazy in that? Um, so for my sister, I bought this. This right here is one of her favourite things. Not, I've never tried this brand before. We've only ever done co-op. But it's mature cheddar cheese and jalapeno sourdough. She loves it from co-op. And I thought, that one's a proper sourdough. Because I think the one from co-op isn't a sourdough. And then I got no idea what these are. Are they long crisps? Potato snack. I just thought, looks fun. Um, then got as a little added extra for Jesse. Um, Mike and Ike's are his favorite. And I saw that they had the sour ones. So I got those. And then I got, oh, I got this for dad because he loves root beer, but it's really expensive here. Cause in America you can like obviously get it anywhere you go. Um, but not in England. So I found a root beer cordial, which would be way cheaper. So I don't, I don't know what it'll be like because obviously you won't have it with the fizziness. So I don't know if it'll be nice, but he can try that and see how it is. I then got these for myself, which I actually might have right now. These are salt and black pepper sourdough bites. Mmm, a little thin crack off. Mm. I also bought these for someone in my family. I don't know who's going to go for them, but I knew that someone would want to try them. Chicken crackling, Sunday roast. A bit delicious. And then the last things I bought was I've always seen these drinks and I've always wanted to try them. So I got Calypso Paradise Punch and then I've got a Southern Peach Lemonade. That one's for my sister because she loves peach. No, she doesn't. Everyone always thinks she likes peach, but she doesn't actually like peach. Oh, whoops. And then I bought the original lemonade for myself. Okay, so I had a bit of a traffic situation on the way home was in the car for an extra 40 minutes so when I got home I was like heck I can't be sat down any longer and um, so I've come for a little walk and the fresh air just, honestly this sun what is it about the sun that just makes you so much happier I just literally want to like close my eyes and soak in them rays don't worry I do have SPF on because I have such fair skin I'd probably burn on a day like today I am home from my walk. It was so, so pleasant. Um, I need to start getting ready because I'm going out for dinner with my friend. Um, very excited, actually. We're going to a place that I haven't been to in a hot minute. Um, and I'm just really in the mood for it. And I'll keep, I'll try and vlog when we're there. But I am very bad at vlogging when I'm out with my friends because I don't want to shove a camera in their face. No one wants that when they're just going for a dinner with their friend. Mm -hmm. 